Morning. If you have your Bibles, just go ahead and turn to Genesis chapter 1. While you're turning there. I, uh, I did this for a, uh, a men's breakfast a while ago. Uh, I went to study this morning and I couldn't... <laughs> I don't, I don't I didn't think that this is for somebody here today. Uh, I think this is before we uh, started going live on our, on Facebook and stuff. And, but, all right, if you're in Genesis chapter 1, say amen. 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 All right, so I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to kind of jump through different pieces of it. So... In chapter 1, verse 1, In the beginning God created the heaven and earth. Now verse 3, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Now go down to verse 6, And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And go down to verse 9, And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And we go to verse 14. And God said, let, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. Now, verse 20. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life and the fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of the heaven. Now verse 24, and God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind, and it was so. Now verse 26, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And then verse 27. So God created man in his own image, and in the image of God created him. Male and female created he then. So, I just kind of want to go over some statistics. Uh, the mathematical probability of the earth being where it is within what's called a habitable zone, which means that it can be a, a, a certain distance away that from a star that it can still have water on the Earth. The, the probability of that happening is 1 in 60 billion chances of that happening. Uh, there was a, a study at Harvard that said that the likelihood of even being born is 1 in 400 trillion. Uh, Yet, yeah, here everybody is. Why don't you just keep that in mind? There's a website called uh, worldometers.info that constantly counts the uh, current world population. And at the time that I had wrote this down, uh, it was at 8,019,932,000 961. Now, when I wrote, when I checked it this morning, 8,400,000. Or excuse me, forty-four million five hundred seventy-one thousand nine hundred sixty-two people that were on this earth. The U.S. Census Bureau uh, reported that on uh, January first of this year, there were three hundred thirty-four million two hundred thirty-three thousand eight hundred fifty-four people just living in the U.S. Yet here we are. The likelihood of you even being born at all is 1 in 400 trillion, maybe even 400 quadrillion. But I just I'd said all that to say this. You aren't here because of the Big Bang or because science said so. It is a literal act of God that you are here today. Amen. With all that statistics, with all that being said, you are here because... <coughs> You're supposed to be doing what you're supposed to do for God. Yep. Not living in this world. Yep. But that was kind of my thought today. I, I I think the Lord wanted to give that to somebody. I I didn't know why he wanted me to do it again, but I 
I think somebody out there needed it today, whether it was in here or on Facebook land. But is there a, is there a little one that wants to dismiss it to Sunday school? Go ahead, Hannah. Amen. Amen.